Hi hey everyone, it's going to be a quick introduction to a new feature in Debugger Pipelines that we've called Dynamic Pipelines. Dynamic Pipelines are a powerful new capability that we've introduced to Debugger Pipelines, which allows you to inject high level of intelligence and flexibility into your CI CD workflows. Traditional CI CD workflows with any modern CI CD tool have had a challenge associated with them, which is that they are often configured through static YAML files, which makes them very inflexible and it makes it difficult to adapt to changing contexts like information available from external systems or even information available from your source code management system. Dynamic Pipelines allows you to inject intelligent automation and intelligent orchestration directly into your CI CD processes. It enables this not just at the level of individual teams, but also at the level of the whole of organization. And that's one of the most powerful features of the new capability. Today, I'm going to show you one example of how teams can utilize a capability like Dynamic Pipelines by demoing a capability that Elastian has built for its own internal processes. I do want to stress that what I'm going to show you today is an implementation of Dynamic Pipelines. It is not Dynamic Pipelines itself. So this is something that has been built on top of Dynamic Pipelines by the Atlassian teams. Um, it's important to understand that because if you jump into the product expecting it to do exactly what I show you here today, it's not going to do that straight away. Although we are going to be using the things that we're building internally as the basis for example dynamic pipelines that we will make available that teams can uh, take for themselves, modify and change to their workflows. The way dynamic pipelines work is they're leveraged on top of our Forge extensibility platform. Forge is a tool that's been developed by Atlassian to allow customers and partners to add extensions to Atlassian products. And Bitbucket is heavily implementing Forge across its entire product space. Dynamic pipelines are implemented as simple Forge functions. What they do is they take the configuration for a pipeline workflow at runtime, just as it's about to run, and using the logic embedded into the um, Forge function, they modify the CI CD configuration at runtime to change it to what the application deems is necessary. Now, this can be used for simple things like enforcing that all builds run on particular Docker images or ensuring that all builds run on particular uh, on-prem runners to uh, moderately complicated use cases like automatically assigning builds to different runners based on the cost center of the team running the builds to extremely powerful capabilities like what I'm going to show you today. The capability I'm going to show you today is an internal feature at Elastian that we call Manage Builds. This is something that we built on top of Dynamic Pipelines. Um, it took a team of around about uh, two people a few weeks to sort of implement the initial prototype of it. Um, so it is a very uh, comprehensive version of what you can do with Dynamic Pipelines, but it is an excellent example of the power of Dynamic Pipelines that is available. Simple Dynamic Pipelines implementations can be completed in less than 30 minutes. Um, so don't take what I'm going to show you today as uh, an example of the typical Dynamic Pipeline implementation it is quite an advanced implementation. So Manage Builds is a capability that Atlassian has built for its own internal teams, which allows them to effectively automate the entire process of creating their CI CD workflows for their repositories. Traditionally, if a team wanted to build a CI CD workflow that covered a standardized process of things like security scanning and a bunch of other conditions they wanted to do, they'd have to write long, complicated YAML files, which have all of that information in them. There's a high likelihood of those YAML files maybe having small imperfections or inconsistencies. And if those best practices across the company ever changed, you were dependent on every single team in the company making changes to their YAML file configuration in order for their pipelines to be kept up to date. Dynamic Pipelines and Managed Builds solves all of those problems. I'll show you how it works. So this is an example of the pipeline workflow that we want to run for the repository that we're looking at today. So this is quite a long and complicated uh, pipeline. It has a lot of steps involved, but they're all necessary steps that we need to have in order to make sure that the code that's being merged into the repository is compliant with all of the right processes. It's having all the right security scans being done on it and all of the other various parts of the process that we need to enforce. If you go down, this is over 400 lines of uh, configuration and it's quite complicated. If you had every single team having to implement this independently in their own repositories, the likelihood of this being perfectly implemented is close to zero. What's more, this 
best practice workflow is defined by our central what we call our dev life team. And if this workflow ever changed, you would be depending on every single team in the organization making the required change to their pipeline configuration and keeping it perfectly up to date. And I think realistically, we can all say that that's almost never going to happen. If you have, say, a thousand teams working on different things with uh, different repositories and they're all trying to maintain a version of this document and they all need to keep it perfectly and up to date, the likelihood of that happening is, is, is close to zero. So we wanted to come up with a solution which allowed teams to have these pipeline workflows that were always going to be compliant with the most up-to-date best practice that Alassian has defined, whilst also allowing teams to maintain flexibility and autonomy, because realistically, you can't have every single team having the exact same pipeline. It's just not possible. Teams use different frameworks, teams use different versions of languages, teams use all kinds of different things. So we needed a solution which allowed teams to maintain flexibility, but also get the most up-to-date, best practice CI-CD workflows for their use case. So we achieved that by building something on top of the dynamic pipelines that we call Manage Builds. So what Manage Builds does is it allows teams to declare just a few labels in their Bitbucket pipeline YAML file in their repository. And at runtime, the dynamic pipeline app will read those labels from the CI-CD workflow and then dynamically generate the entire workflow at runtime. And because it's generated at runtime, whenever the best practice processes change, teams don't actually need to do anything because the labels that they're declaring in their YAML file don't change. They stay the same, but what those labels generate will be updated in real time whenever the new pipeline is run. So to get this quite comprehensive, sort of 400 line uh, CICD workflow, the uh, template, the, the, the labels that the team needs to include in the, in the YAML file is just this. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code. And what we're saying basically is it's, it's giving you a namespace, it's saying it's a managed build, it tells you, it declares the schema version you want, and they're saying that it's a JVM library, it uses Maven as its build tool, and it uses JDK 17 as the JVM version that it's running. But there's different versions of all of these things that you can specify. And depending on what you specify here, the output from the managed build will be different. And this is all done inside a dynamic pipeline. Managed builds, as a concept, it sounds quite kind of comprehensive, but realistically all it is, is the dynamic pipeline receives the, the, the build configuration with these labels, and it has a series of templates that it knows each of these labels map to. So it knows that if the build tool is Maven, it needs to inject a certain set of steps. It knows that if the JVM version is JDK 17, it needs to inject a certain set of steps. It's actually not that you know, overly complicated, but just the outcome, the output from it is extremely powerful and extremely comprehensive. So I'll show you exactly what this looks like actually in the product. So if I go to this repository here, you can see here that this is the same repository I was just showing you. You can actually ignore this whole section there because that's just kind of a fallback default pipeline that says manage builds is not active. This is the labels that are used to generate the entire pipeline. So if I then go to an actual pipeline that was run on this repository over here, you can see here that from those couple of labels, it generated this whole pipeline. So the build and verify step, which if I go back to this, little thing here, you can see build and verify is the first step in the pipeline. And then within that, there's a series of things it does, and then same down print labels, goes through all of those, runs the security scans that it needed to do. It validates some configuration, which was skipped in this particular context, runs a sonar cube scan, and then it does its deployment, which is not completed yet, because this is still in progress. But you can see here, there's a lot going on. And this has all been generated from just those sets of labels there. The most powerful part of this, like I said before, is that this is entirely dynamic. So as our teams that define our kind of best practice CI/CD workflows update those processes, teams no longer need to update their pipelines files to always be compliant. All they need to have is these labels so that when the team updates the dynamic pipeline behind the scenes that these labels map to, the teams that are consuming it will always get the most up-to-date CI/CD workflow. And so they're always gonna be compliant with the most up-to-date processes that Elastin is trying to follow. I hope this has been a useful introduction to dynamic pipelines. If you would like to learn more, please uh, jump onto the developer docs and the product docs for dynamic pipelines. Join the community group to get involved and ask questions. And you can actually download some example repositories uh, for dynamic pipelines from uh, the Bitbucket Cloud dev docs. Unfortunately, managed builds is not one of those things that you can download at this stage, but we are working on basically creating a version of this that will be consumable by teams. 
that you'll be able to download yourself and then use that as a template to add in your own best practice workflows so that you can build your own system just like this.